Hi, my name is Ruben Alves, and today we are going to see how to move a robot in ROS Development Studio using Python and ROS, of course. So, if you are new to ROS Development Studio, when you come to this page, you have to click Sign In or Sign Up. If you click Sign In, you will see this page, and after you put your credentials, you are going to see this page, rdstconstruction.com. And this is the first page. In this first page, we have here all your projects you have created here with this new project. And if, if, if you click here, you can see also the public projects that are those uh, already set up by the, the construct. Okay, let's say I want to create a new project to create a script that moves a robot with Python. So I just come here. And the name of my project is going to be Movie Robot Tutorial. And it's a private simulation. L and the description let's move the robot with the Python. And we can create here the project. Okay. It's created here Movie, movie Robot Tutorial. Now we just click here, Open Project. And okay, here we have the description to make sure. Okay, this is the project I want to run and open project. After some seconds, the system is going to be okay. It's already loaded, although we don't see anything here is because we haven't launched anything yet. So, if you want to move a robot, first we need a robot. For example, let's open here the web shell. If we, if we, let's wait, okay. If we check here on host topic list, mm, no, we don't have any ROS master, okay. Okay, we don't have a ROS code running. Let's suppose I want to run, I, uh, I want to move a robot, I already have here a list of a robots that can be used those robots are already prepared for running on RDS. Let's suppose I want to move this BBH. So I just press this BBH button and here we have the gazebo screen is shown and we have here the log is saying that the the simulation is loading. Here we have the logs. Let me close here the log. This here we have the blank screen because it's loading, ok, it's already loaded. Now we can check here the list of topics. Now we have a lot of topics here. And one of the topics, one of the important to move the robot is this topic here called the comedy veil, comedy velocity. If we check here was topic info command velocity we see that we don't have any publisher send messages to the robot and okay now let's suppose i want to move this robot if i want to move this robot manually by command line i just have to call ros topic mm, ros topic publish on this command value topic the message of this type it's a geometry messages twist and if I press tab I have here this one the autocomplete the these values if I publish a empty message in this case all the value zero the robot will, st we will stay in as it is now now let's say I want to rotate the robot on here on the Z, angular Z. Let's change this value and let's publish it only once. Okay, here on the simulation we can see that the robot is moving. Now if I want to move the robot to the other side, for example, let me just change here the signal to negative. And okay, to the other side. Now let's say I don't want to move the robot anymore. I, d I don't want to rotate. I just want to stop. I have to change here to zero. Okay. 
This works as you can see, but just to move the robot from one side to another, I have to run this command Rostopk public publish many times. And uh, if I want to move the robot, for example, forward, I have to go by command line also. And this is is good because it works, but we can make it better by by using a okay. Let's see here, the robot is moving. Now let's bring him back. <laughs> let's bring him back by changing this value to a negative value and this linear X. Now he's going to come back. Okay, coming back. To <laughs> and when he comes, let's stop it by publishing this X with the zero value. Let's press enter and okay, it's uh, stopped here. Okay, very good. But now let's suppose I don't want to reuse command line anymore, I want a program. Okay, in this case, if we check in here, we have it the CATKIN workspace, simulation workspace, and notebook workspace. The code used to move control the robot must be on this CATKIN workspace. So, Let's enter on this CATKIN workspace and on the source folder. Here we still don't have anything. We can come here on the tools and open here the Cloud9 IDE. Okay. Let me close the notebook. Okay, we have here the CATKIN workspace, the source folder. We only have this make list as we have here. So let's create a ROS package. Call it the catkin create package. Let's call move bb8 for example, and that depends on the rospy package. So let's create here. Okay, we already can see here on the IDE. We have here a source folder. Now let's create here a package. S I mean a Python file. Let's create here new file, and the name is going to be um, uh, rotate, for example. Rotate. It's a Python file, and let me open here and maximize. Since this is a Python, okay. Let me change here the font size because it's really small. Okay, it's better now. We have to run Python. So you was R bin env Python. You will need to import Rospy. And since if you check here when publishing message, we need a geometry message twist. So we come here and import. Uh, from geometry geometry messages message import twist ok we have created here a node instantiate a ROS node let's say rospy init node the name of our node is going to be mm, let's use the same name rotate for example the same name of the of the python file and now we must create a publisher so publisher equals publisher equals hostpy publisher okay you are going to publish on this command value topic on this mm, command value the message type that you are going to publish is twist this one here and okay let's put the q size only one okay we already have here the publisher now we just need to publish the messages so while not rospy is shut down while we have ros running we can publisher publish and the message now we have here to create the message 
Mm, and the mesh is the message is a twist message. And what if you want just to rotate the robot as we have seen here, we just have to change this angular z value. So message let's just put message angular angular and z okay equals 0 0.1 for example and in this case it's going to move just to one side it's not going to rotate from one side to another so let's change this value to for example let's create here a boolean vari variable they call it the and rotate right equals true for example if it equals so the z value is going to be positive if rotate true if rotate right is true or is going to be minus 0 0.1 if rotate right is false so we after every in, in every iteration of this while we have to change this value so after publish the message let's just change rotate right equals not rotate right so this is going to be changing between true and false okay it seems that our package our node is ready to publish now let's wait some seconds let's say we need to import the sleep so from time import sleep and let's sleep for 10 seconds sleep 10 seconds so what's going to happen here our robot is rotated to one side wait for 10 seconds rotate to the other side wait more 10 seconds and do this forever so the name of our file is rotate let me just let's see here the let me maximize here the let me minimize i mean this id and let's run our script if we here if we check here our package is bbh let's um, move bbh and if we check the source folder we have here the rotate now let's just run was run the name of our package move bbh move bbh and it's not autocomplete and let's put the name rotate python Mm, let's see if our robot is going to move it's not moving so let's open another shell here and see why it's ah okay it's ro rotating it's rotating and after 10 seconds it should rotate it to the other side okay it's working let's just cancel here and put it on the cloud 9 the okay let's print here a message um, message published let's say hospi login info message published just to have a feedback on the screen now let's run our node again mm, message published so when publish it again it's going to rotate to the other side okay as you can see message published rotating to the other side after 10 seconds it's going again to the other side as you can see this is easier than having to type these rostop key commands each time i want to move the orientation for example the robot so that's it guys this is how we can move a robot. I mean, going to open here to leave the Cloud9 open here to see the commands used. Just this command here. And 
thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. We are publishing videos like this every single day. See you.